welcome, it's Kathleen Barr here, and I am currently finishing my very first digital marketing and social media internship with the Dankos Media Group in Toronto, Ontario. Well, uh, not exactly Toronto, Ontario. I'm actually doing my internship from my family farm in Douglas, Ontario. Since COVID happened, I did move home and started working online from the comfort of my sister's bedroom, because the Wi-Fi in my room stinks. So this was what I was going to wear on my first day of the job. But since my first day of the job was a phone call and no one could see me, I wore this for several months afterwards. So I think it's very safe to say that this summer was not what any of us had anticipated. It wasn't what I expected for my first internship by any means. I'm sure it's not what my employer had hoped for. And it's definitely not what you, my professors, had expected for the spring and summer semesters of 2020. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my internship. I'm gonna break it down, say what worked, what didn't, and just kind of explain the life of a 2020 COVID intern. So as I mentioned earlier, I have been working as a digital marketing and social media intern for the Dankos Media Group, which is a multimedia creative marketing company located out of Toronto, Ontario. In this position, I've been running the Dankos Media Group social media account, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as the company's Kijiji Marketing Place account. I've created all kinds of social media and advertising content for the company since the beginning of my internship. So as you can see, I was not kidding about the farm thing. I really am living here for the summer on my family farm. So I've been working as a social media intern for the Dankos Media Group while also working for my dad from that tractor right back there. So this summer I was definitely expecting it to go a little more like this. But instead I had a lot of this. and a whole lot of this. So first I will address some of the issues I faced during my internship during a global pandemic. So of course there is location and doing my internship online during a global pandemic was challenging, especially since it is my very first internship and my first time working in my field. Not being in office definitely caused some limitations, but we navigated through this issue using communication which worked out pretty well since this is a communication internship. Not being in office meant doing a lot of work on my own and not having someone constantly check in on me, which is kind of what I expected for my first internship. This was a little bit scary, a little bit nerve wracking at first, but in the end, I think I became a lot more independent and a lot more confident in the work that I produce. Another challenge that came with not being in office was that I wasn't actually there to take pictures of the products and the company to post on the company Instagram. So therefore, I had to come up with some pretty creative ways to find content to post without actually being physically there. I create graphic designs and images that I feel really showcase what the company is all about. I post marketing quotes and tips and tricks, as well as entrepreneur advice, motivational quotes, and the odd weekend celebration post. In the end, I came up with some work that I'm very proud of and I've learned a lot from this internship experience. I learned how to make a social media audit, how to make a post plan, and how to use social media platform tools such as Hootsuite to plan and publish all of your work. I learned that as a business, you don't just wanna make posts about your company or about your products, you also wanna make daily posts that your customers and followers will just enjoy. I also learned about how important it is to interact with your followers to increase engagement. This COVID internship also taught me how key and crucial communication is in any workplace setting and how important constant communication is between you, your employer, and your customers. This summer, I also just realized so much about myself and my work ethic and what kind of communicator I am. Working with small businesses and entrepreneurs definitely made me realize that I want to be an entrepreneur someday. And jumping back and forth from working on my internship and working on the farm made me realize that I'm definitely in the right program and I have no intentions of being a farmer. Sorry, Dad. So just to wrap everything up, once again, I'm Kathleen Barr, third year professional communication student at Ryerson, also social media and digital marketing intern at the Dankos Media Group. Thank you very much to Dankos for this opportunity, as well as you, my professors at Ryerson. This has been a great experience for me, and even though COVID threw a couple curveballs, I think we navigated through and ended up on top in the end. 
I've learned so much through this experience about myself as a communicator and about the field that I'm in, and I'm very excited about what the future holds. So thanks again. Thank you.